Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we'll demonstrate searching for, displaying, and creating City Ledger accounts. By now, you're probably familiar with the layout of other Cloud PM modules such as reservations or groups, and City Ledger is similar. In the top left, we find headings for New, Find, and View. Let's begin by creating a new City Ledger account. Most of the fields on the Account Info screen are optional, but it's good practice to fill in as many as possible. If your accounting department has an existing account numbering scheme, you can enter your own alphanumeric value. If you want Cloud PM to make up a number for you, click the Assign button instead. The account status defaults to Active, but you can change it to Active Temporary or Inactive if necessary. Use Active Temporary if this account will only be used in the short term, or Inactive if you aren't using this account right now. You can't post any invoices to an inactive account. Enter the account name. Company is not a required field, but I'm going to enter one anyway because this particular company has more than one direct bill account at our hotel. Many hotels specify a credit limit on each direct billing application, so I'll enter that limit here. Next, I'll enter as much contact info as I have available. Enter a billing code if the customer requires one. If this customer is tax exempt, you can record their tax ID number here. Checking the tax exempt box will automatically flag any reservations paid by this account as tax exempt. Comments entered here do not print on the customer statement or carry over to guest reservations. These two checkboxes indicate what type of charges are allowed on this account. Checking these does not prevent charges from posting. They're strictly informational. Last is the payment type, which indicates how the customer pays their invoices. It's becoming more common for companies to pay using a corporate credit card, which you can enter directly on the account. Our customer will send a check. Now that all my information is entered, I can click Save or Save and Close, which returns us to the City Ledger home screen. This also happens to be the Find Account screen. I can find a particular account by entering something in one or more of these fields. Or get a list of all accounts by leaving them blank and clicking the search button. From here, I can select an account to view by clicking either the account number or name. This looks familiar. Use the ribbon bar options to change the account info. View a statement summary. Post a payment. Preview the statement. Or print it. Back on the left menu, we also have quick access to view outstanding balances. as well as both an aging summary and aging detail. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Please feel free to contact your account manager or our customer support center for additional questions.